Hello and welcome to another edition of Roll for Crit Expansions. I'm Jonathan Estes. I'm Will Keeler. Today we're looking at Munchkin Expansion 6, Demented Dungeons. <laughs> now, if you have gotten any of the other Munchkin Expansions before, you may notice this box is a little bit different in size. That's because this one was unique in coming with Dungeons! Oh, it makes sense. Now, how do dungeons work? Well, dungeons are real interesting. I'm glad you asked that question. <laughs> As you can see, there's these, there are these big oversized cards right here. And uh, they basically have an effect on the overall game. So it's not something you draw out of a deck like a normal card. Uh, but when one comes into play, I think you start the game with one, mm -hmm. uh, this, that thing changes a basic rule usually. For example, for example, uh, there is one that makes it so uh, leveling up, you only need 800 instead of 1,000, the discount one. Uh, one that makes everyone elves. And some of them are very simple, some of them can get a bit more uh, complex. Well, that's, yeah, like so some, there's the other ones where it's like... Um, Running's at minus one. Uh, well, I like the one that makes it, uh, you need to get level 11 to win instead right. of 10. And so, well, that's, and then, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Before we get into our favorites. Yes. We should mention, because obviously some of these sound like they're bad, or you want to get to the certain one. The game also gives you these small cards. Almost all of them, I think, are portals. Yeah. Pretty much, they tell you how to go into another dungeon, sometimes multiple dungeons. And uh, so you shuffle that into your door deck, and right. which so brings us though. That's how they change to our favorite one. <laughs> well, let's let's yeah. Which, so which ones? Well, maybe we'll save that one for last. Okay. So they, <laughs> you can tell we're real excited about it. <laughs> Are there any that uh, that that stand out to you? I I, I really like the one where. Uh, uh, you every you can use go up a level cards as cheat cards so that like no matter what you have you can use it if you're not allowed to. Right. Well, a lot of these are break the rules cards. So. Right. <laughs> uh, I think like I mentioned earlier everyone's an elf. <laughs> so what happens there is it becomes hilarious because elves get a level if they help anyone. Right. So pretty so much no one wants help. <laughs> There's also um, ones that give everyone an unlimited amount of races or classes. <laughs> so you can you get to draw extra ones and you do just like a dwarf. An anno annoying one is um, all undead get plus five in combat, mm. and then anyone at any time can discard a card to make a monster undead. Oh yeah, so you could, that's a lot of stabbing going on yeah. there, back and front. Mm -hmm. So the one, the one that we love, that oh. I, I think is we have two here then special. Yeah, well, we'll one, go, for one for doing, and one I think for the flavor. We'll start with the base one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that for me, I think it, it probably is the best the one, the most fun I think we I've ever had playing Munchkin. Was yes, when we used this for the, the first time. Uh, the dungeon of gender bending. <laughs> In this dungeon, you now chain sex. As just like the curse that goes around. Now, however, you must also decide the name of your opposite sex version. And if anyone calls you by a real name, they lose a level. So not only are you a different sex, you now have to come up like, my name's now like Jessica or something. <laughs> That's always your go-to for female names. It is. <laughs> um, yeah, so and, but the you, best part, so you come up with your name. However, if anyone refers to you thereafter, as long as this dungeon is in play, mm -hmm as your real name or as your real gender, uh, they lose a level. Yes. <laughs> so you have to be really careful. Also, I also find that um, when choosing the names, though, people usually try to choose really odd female names. <laughs> yeah, because, well, or male, if females are Right, playing. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, have you played with a female? Of course I have. I have not. I have not played this game with a female. You never played it with Alice? No, I have not played it with oh, Alice. You're missing out. Alice knows how to play Munchkin. <laughs> I like how you know the one female you... Um, well, she's a pro. So, um, yeah, so when we played, we... We... Like we lo we each went down like six levels <laughs> within five minutes. <laughs> it was uh, it was a real it was a disaster. And it, but it, and it was very frustrating, but also very funny because every 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 time I said a sentence, I was like, ah, and here's another level in the <laughs> box. Like it wasn't even went down so fast. And then of course there's the other card which goes but fits nicely with that one. Mostly because there is actually a chance for multiple dungeons to be out. Right. It's possible for there to be two or more dungeons in play depending on the card. Is the uh, dungeon of manga wrangling in which any monster with tentacles get plus five combat against females. <laughs> yep. Or manga but, wrangling if you... Right. My, I always screw it up. <laughs> I'm sure my brother's cursing me now. Uh, but the best part about this card is mm -hmm. not what it makes it. It's 
If the munchkins cannot agree on whether the given monster has tentacles, send us a check for twenty dollars and we'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's that's pretty good. And we I've done that and I didn't get a response. I, I, I'm suing Steve Jackson <laughs> Games. Uh, yeah, so the, the, that's those go well together. It's one of the more uh, it's kind of risque of munchkin yeah. cards. <laughs> Out of all the munchkin expansions, we definitely feel the dungeon adds a lot more fun. Can you, I would definitely argue this should be one of the first ones you grab. And not just if you if you have a different Munchkin expansion. Let's say you have uh, Cthulhu Munchkin. A lot of them actually have their own version of Dungeons now. Right, right. So you can actually pick up one that fits the theme of whatever your Munchkin yeah, taste I is. Yeah, I think um, like mounts are pretty cool as far as like new stuff right. they've added. This is definitely, yeah, I th like you said, I think our favorite thing. And... Um, it, it, it definitely adds a, a, nice, a lot of nice variety to it. Like Cutthroat Caverns had a, a similar thing where they had dungeons. I like any time a game has a yeah. thing that affects well, you all. Yeah, because I, I like that a lot because what happens is it's not just, oh, here's a new item for me to more, more backstabbing. It's literally, I'm changing the rules. Yeah, it actually changes your entire experience. And in this case, it could be changing every other turn. Right. So more chaos, more spite, more randomness. Uh, if you're not into More Munchkin, gender changing. Yeah, you, you won't be into this, but if you are, uh, there it is, Munchkin 6. We, why did we skip to 6 and not do 1 through 5? I don't know. You'll have we to just <laughs> like this one that much that we really wanted to start off here. Yeah, uh, but I'm sure we'll get to all of them eventually. We also have a full playback video up for Munchkin on our site, which you can see. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, I'm pretty sure there's a girl in that video when we played. I forgot about that one. Because <laughs> uh, most of the time I played Munchkin was college years when we actually weren't together. Because what I used to, we used to always play college or like do, after we do our homework and we'd like to, at this big table and just be like, okay, let's play Munchkin now. Yeah. Anyway, you can check that out. It's on our site, rollforcrit.com. We also sell Munchkin and all of its expansions. Including this one. Including this one, of course. Uh, but if you want to let us know what you think of Munchkin 6, how can they do that? Well, they can let us know by emailing us, rollforcrit at gmail.com. And of course, just commenting right below the video. Right below the video. It's so easy. And if you please follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, all that stuff, we'd appreciate it. Yeah, and also let us know maybe if there's another expansion you want us to talk about, uh, another game. We'll, we'll, we'd love to hear. Yeah, otherwise, that's it for this Roll for Crit Expansions video. Hope it helped you. I'm Jonathan Estes. I'm Will Keeler, and this has been Roll for Crit Expansion.